Change your diet, change your life, change the planet. Okay, so uh, the question is, now that you're vegan and eating this way, has this helped your depression? Because you look like such a vibrant guy and um, you don't look like you're depressed. <laughs> Uh, I am a student of depression. It's probably the topic that I study the most now. Uh, it's a non-stop process. And not only do I study the data out there on depression, but I'm also constantly investigating my own experience with it and testing myself and challenging myself and sitting with myself and learning. So I see depression very, very differently. Did it go away when I switched to veganism? No. No. Did it go away when I switched to raw foodism? I thought it did for a little while because my mind was very clear. The fog had lifted and I was smarter, I was more observant, I was more sensitive and it's like, wow, whoa, this is really cool. I've got this brand new mind. So I thought that my depression had gone away. And what I've realized since then is that depression is simply a response to too much stress it's kind of like a scab forming over a wound. You get cut and the body's like, okay, we've got a really vulnerable area here. We need to protect it so that we can heal it. So I'm going to build a scab over that area so that I can heal it, the wound underneath. But that scab is going to protect it from bacteria. It's going to protect it from radiation, from the sun. So we've got to keep it safe while we heal it. Depression is the same thing. It's a mental scab. Our lives are constantly overwhelming. Facebook, Twitter, everything that's going on, there's just too much information. And that's stressful. Our diets are stressful. Our driving is stressful. Uh, pollutants are stressful. The EMF coming off this computer right now is stressful. And if you're highly sensitive, which I am, I'm a highly sensitive person, that's a field in psychology, I'm really prone to that kind of stuff. And when I went raw, I became more sensitive, I became more aware, and now I feel things much deeper and I get wounded much easier. So I'm not as tough as I used to be because I was numb before. I had a fog and, and all the stuff wasn't getting through to me. I had like this atmosphere protecting me. But now that that atmosphere is gone and I am emotionally raw and bare and open and vulnerable, I get hurt a lot easier now. Uh, which is why I'm really vulnerable in a lot of videos I post on YouTube because I want um, I want to show people it's okay to be vulnerable. I want to show people that it's okay to be emotionally raw. It's okay to be human. It's okay to feel something. Some people are going to be more sensitive than others. There are different genes um, that basically control how much sensitivity a person is going to have. Are you going to be an introvert or an extrovert? We're finding out now that that's... Um, primarily genetic. I'm an introvert. So I retreat. I pull away. Um, I, I heal from the inside. An extrovert's going to heal from the outside. So uh, when I get depressed now, it's me putting up this shield, putting up this scab, so that I can pull away from the world and heal myself. Now depression only becomes a problem if you're not healing. If you've pulled away from the world and you're not doing the healing, then you're in trouble. Because the damage is only going to get worse, and you're not getting any outside help now. In fact, you're less likely to want to engage other people because you're wounded and you're not healing, and people don't want to be around you, or at least that's what you believe, and maybe they don't want to be around you because you're the guy that's not healing, and you're the guy that's pulling away from them. So, yeah, depression is still in my life, but it's a healing response. And as long as I'm making sure that that healing is happening underneath, I don't see it as a problem. But when I continue inside of a stressful situation that doesn't allow me to heal, like, okay, I've put up the depression, so now I've blocked myself from the outside world, that can't hurt me anymore. But if I still have my own stresses going on in the inside, I'm not going to heal. And, that, and that's a real problem. So uh, the solution is not diet. Uh, because the diet can actually make it worse. Uh, I'm not telling people not to go raw for that reason or not to go vegan, but you really need to be checking in with yourself and being kind to yourself and being gentle to yourself and 
when you feel when you start feeling depressed that's a response to too much stress look around where is it get away from it stop doing it do i really need to be working on this right now uh, ali's been sending me a bunch of emails and he's probably wanting really quick responses but i'm overloaded right now i've got so much on my plate that it's like okay if i do everything that i need to do right now even though ali and everybody else wants me to answer all their emails if i do all of that i'm going to push myself over the limit of stress and that's not going to be good. So I've got to protect myself a little bit. And there's a cost to that. But there's also a benefit to me in that I can heal and then get back and bounce and say, okay, now I'm ready. Now I can do it. Now I can engage with you. Um, but yeah, diet, uh, diet just makes me more clear and more sensitive. So um, yeah, I don't, I don't see depression as a bad thing as long as you're using it to heal. It's actually necessary, but okay. I hope that helps.